Hey, good to see you, Sarah. So listen, I think that the interesting thing here is it's all about the nuance. I walk into meetings and certain people compare me to last year, two years ago, three years ago, like trying to figure out when do we have a post-COVID environment versus when are we in 19 has been a question. You just named a group of stocks that didn't do well. There's some others that are, that are doing really well. So I think... I think 2020 and 2021 were these periods of rising tides, lifts all boats, receding tides, takes them all back. 2022, I think, is going to be a year of divergence. I think the nuance matters, and you and I have talked about it. I think there are going to be certain companies that actually structurally improve their business. They're going to win. Others are going to watch all of that COVID benefit fade back. Like Under Armour, is that still one of your top picks? It is, it is, which is which is a lot of fun if you rewind back to all the conversations you and I have had. I think this is a company, I think Under Armour is a company that took a ubiquitous brand and took a bloated OPEX and used this COVID cover as an opportunity to refashion that. And I think they're doing a nice job. And I know you've done a lot of work with them and you've, talk, you've spoken to them. We can see this conversation where they want to be healthier, not louder. And I think they, they are one of the ones that emerge on the other side better off. They're down 18% this year, though, 23% over the last year. You know what? The macro factors will do that. So I think at the end, and, and by the way, we're talking about where you start from. So we upgraded the stock a little bit ago. I think that right now, anyone who asks me to call a bottom, any investor that I talk to asks me to call a bottom, I, I'm not that smart. I think the question is, we're making a conversation saying 1H21 was the perfect time to retail. You had stimulus, you had pent-up demand. I mean, forget about Omicron, forget about Ukraine for a second. We knew these six months were going to be difficult. We also know that as we segue to the back half of this year, we're done lapping that supply chain, container costs, different things become built in already. The question is going to be, which are the companies that you want to own on the other side? I can't tell you that in the next week, we don't have global pressures that hit even the winners. And if anything, what we're seeing is not babies being thrown out with the bathwater. We're seeing them thrown out before the bathwater because the crowded winners, the companies you actually want to be a part of, were the ones that I think have gotten hit the most. So absolutely, right now, this is looking out further on and saying, if we can look beyond the next three months and look further out, which companies are healthier, those, I think, will... The loss that they may have in the short term will vastly mm -hmm. offset and the gains we get go forward. Any any hint of a, of a turnaround at Peloton, or do you still hate this stock? You, you had a very good call. You were one of the first to be negative, and then it collapsed. New CEO, new strategy. What's your take? Hate is a harsh word, but I think that the reality is we have yet to see what's changed. Right. You and I need to see what's changed. And it sounds like we're getting different versions of price elasticity. It sounds like we're getting different versions of promotions. And I think the question is, Peloton is a great product with a phenomenal community that probably is a lot smaller than it should be. We watched the last management team overextend themselves and the new management team acknowledging that. But what we're seeing is still a chase of growth. And I think Under Armour is a great segue to Peloton because Under Armour went through this. There is a time needed between a restructuring and a recovery. It doesn't happen right away. It still feels like we need to go through the restructuring before we can start getting excited about the recovery.